Libra gang, it is a cold morning. How are all of you? We're going to get started with your reading this morning. I feel like it's going to be a life-changing one. I'm deciding what decks to use because I have them all here today. Welcome, welcome. Sorry there. Oh gosh, I know they're illegal now. So we have a stone resting on the kipper. I kind of want to begin with the kipper for your oracle today. It's cold in Cali, so I'm just going to wear a coat through this reading. It is very cold here, so let's get started. Um, let's make this first one a love one, Libra, and then the second video we're going to do that as kind of a, a life-encompassing advice video, okay? This first one's going to be for love, so whatever Libra is looking for. Okay, let me split the deck real quick because this has not been properly blessed for the reading. For the sign of Libra, balance, harmony, justice, please. For the sign of justice. And I got my very first gel. I've never done gel before, Libra. This is the first gel manicure, so thank God to the heaven ab above for a decent mani. <laughs> All of you guys are like, she did it by <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to throw that in there. Libra. Libra, please. What's coming at them in love? Give us some love signals, please getting serious here i do get serious before the readings for you guys because um we tend to have good luck when i just sort of chime back my humor <laughs> so we have have a bit of good luck okay we have reverse mature man okay that immediately tells me for some of you divine feminines divine females it was reversed like this you're going to be getting a younger person coming at you okay so if you watched yesterday's reading this is like the part two so you got a younger person here, mature man. It would be it would be immature man. Um, actually, it means that they're younger, that they're coming in. I feel like they're going to be wise. There's a globe here, lots of books. It kind of looks like a Harry Potter library. Okay, not to be funny, but reversed. It does mean they still have the knowledge around them. They are just younger. Number five could be significant to you. You could be seeing 555 five, five in your path currently. We do have a message of concern. Maybe someone is planning on reaching out to you, Libra. This could be family or a friend. For some of you, I feel like it's very it's a specific person that you've been waiting to hear from. I feel like they're finally going to do this. Okay, uh, it could be to set the record straight. Whatever that that's coming in is like set the plane straight with you for the new year. I think they want some good karma coming their way. Be careful of this though, because. Number 14 can be a message of any kind. It doesn't have to be plainly of concern. It could just be a message to you like eight of wands, sort of a materialistic happening here. Be careful with this energy because we're entering into a retrograde. So they could be using this manipulatively to make you think a certain way. Okay. Um, this is going on generally for the sign of Libra, very heavy. It's like a very convincing factor. I don't know if it's Pluto's return, okay, into the planetary spectrum here, but I do think that number 14 here and five have sort of a correlation, okay? Um, it could be just to check on you too, Libra. If you're one of those Libras that have hermited a pretty long time, this person could just be coming in to check on you. Uh, also, be wary of the wording. Be wary of what they're actually saying to you. Just a little warning there. We have community here, number 39. This card speaks of a greater role that you have in your community at large and also the one at home, okay? There is a little boy here who stands out mostly in the picture as standing by his parents. It's also about the morals and the values that we still hold deep and that we love and cherish. Your morals right now, Libra, I feel like you're going through like one last tiny test before the new year is over. Today is the last day. Congratulations for making it to this year um, alive, well, and still thinking about your higher self. So I do want to reach out there and give you guys all an internal hug. I do mean that because in order to understand this path and you're decoding all of these things that you're shown by different people, you also have to learn to discern. I feel like here with this community card, a lot of you in 2023, you're going to have a passionate approach to helping around the community at large. You might volunteer more. You might give more of your time or your things, goodwill. Um, you might donate more. So I feel like this community card is more of like a universal feeling I'm getting for you. It's not so much of an independent, slow growth type of thing. This would be in your environment and what you, uh, you're planning to do to give back, okay? It does give me like six of pentacles, um, 10 of pentacles like combined. So 39 there with that giving back. I do believe that you're gonna have a bigger role there. 
I'm gonna get you one bonus card for this morning because I did not release a video last night. And that's sort of my rule with you guys if I don't release a video. And let's go. You have sudden wealth. Okay, so, and I do wanna show you this card real quick. It does have a jackpot. You guys have probably seen this from other readers. There's three sevens here that could already be significant to you. If you're not in the sudden wealth phase, it does, prom it, it's almost like a card in the kipper that promotes you to do something chancy and take a risk. It's a type of leap of faith where uh, it's not go buy the, a lotto ticket today or anything like that. But it does mean that you have to take a risk somewhere, even if it's small, because it can actually change the game or propel the wheel to turn in a certain way for you. So you have 11 here. You could also be seeing 1111 at this time, very heavy these days for you. Okay. Um, I do want to continue because this is mainly going to be an oracle video. This was supposed to be for love, but I feel like this one was your spiritual video. Okay, a little bit more here. Messages from the heavens. What do your ancestors want to tell you before the new year comes in? There's a couple here that are popping out. You got the crystal skull wisdom card again, and you also have your crown chakra card that is here. We picked up on this yesterday in the love video, and now the card has shown up the actual real crown chakra card. It says here that you have a divine connection to the holy world around you. You're experiencing things on a higher level, miraculous energy at this time. Again, to review this card you got yesterday, this energy is still with you today. It says clarity, divine healing, high vibing energy. Some of you guys are going to be going out. Um, if you don't have a date for New Year's, this is just like my special. I'm taking a little time to talk to you personally. If you don't have a date, Libra, do not feel bad that you plan to stay in, that you're going to be alone. Sometimes this is divine foretelling. Um, it could be protecting you from something that were to happen tonight. Um, I know that sounds highly paranoid, <laughs> if that's a word, or highly paranoid. It could be protecting you also from someone you would have had a run in in with. It's, it's almost like a protective energy around you that I feel. Okay, so if you are planning to be alone tonight and you're okay with it, and you're not having a date or anything like that, you could just be, your energy is being protected. It's something that you're being saved from at this time. Maybe a happenstance that you uh, would have interjected you to say something hurtful, because then I, I gotta talk about it. Sometimes Queen of Swords comes out, and you could be running into someone you don't want to run into. Okay, so Crystal Skull Wisdom, a little bit of a protection card. You do have your crown highlighted, some of you might feel too that you are ready to go out. You are ready to doll yourself up and um, see people, have the experience of being social again. For some of you like in your 30s that hermited and you want to go out and experience this, I really talk to you today because these are two really, really nice cards from this deck and they actually talk about your awakening coming to an end. So you could have felt that these last months. I would say it started Virgo season, okay? Actual hermit time. Um, and then you just sort of started popping out of it recently. I do want to continue with Oracle. So I just want to get two good luck cards for you. I did combine my Ancient Wisdom deck amongst this. So I just want to throw it in. Um, it's not many cards left, but I'm just going to get two out for you this morning. And then we're going to go into the tarot next video. Okay. And that will be general messages for the whole class of Libras. We have Doctor Heal Thyself. This talks about healing yourself slowly onto a path that you feel comfortable with. Uh, there are certain people that can't go with you on this trip, Libra, where you're going. I feel like they're not intended to go with you, and that's fine, okay? Some people get butt hurt uh, that they can't join you on your new journey or your new successes. In 2023, uh, I feel a lot of you have a very specific success that's coming in based off of your tailored and um, I want to say your specific talents. I don't believe everyone's going to have sudden wealth. I don't believe everybody's going to become um, their dream surgeon or have the you know high paying job. I believe some of you are just going to have a tailored dream that you have seen fit, that you've seen through. For me, it's been cultivating um, a channel where I could meet all of you. Um, and I feel like my role I feel some days it's coming to an end, but I also feel some days that it's just getting started. So that is what you need to heal within yourself. Maybe some relationships here too need to get touched on. For some of you, it's like a specific person that you need to heal with or heal through. And the doctor card is all about healing slowly. Take your time, 
take your pace and also follow your heart. You have some beautiful energy here today. Again, lots of purple, purple, purple. In the community card too, it's so funny because even in your other oracle, you have that victorious purple. Someone in your community is wearing that purple garb. It could be you, Libra, okay? Victory is the sign there, the victor, the winner. Um, not always. Sometimes it could be a highly intelligent color, someone who's awakened, okay? And you also have it. It's a bit of a lighter purple in the message of concern card. But I don't feel that this is you today. I feel like this is somebody else around you. Thank you, guys. I will uh, see you in video two. Thank you so much for the support this year. I've had so much fun. Predictions video, probably a little bit later. I'm, I'm on a time crunch. I'm trying to push out these videos. So I'll see you a little bit later. Thank you, guys. Have a good day, please.